What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode we have a, a colonially, well, a, a locally recruited uh, British colonial force attempting to advance towards us to push us out of Iceland. So let's get ready to, uh, to destroy them because they are only militia and provincial cavalry. And then once we've, well, we'll fight this action, but our invasion forces, uh, <laughs> they are rapidly clo uh, following us, so pretty soon we will have troops in position to invade um, Ireland, Scotland, and London. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we must survive this action against the British hordes. I think we should be able to do it. We've got good forces. Good artillery, good cavalry. It's just a good army. No problems. Come on, let us in. Ooh, fight for the hill. Interesting. Dig my howitzers in. Let's get ready. Storm the hill. Trouble is, uh, foot artillery. Okay, let's deploy a pair of guns back here to provide long range support. We're going to try and drag one up to the hill to support us. Skirmishers will go out on the on the left flank. As a result, they'll get most of the cavalry to help out. Right, let's. Uh, we're not going to be able to. We're going to be trying to take the hill. My artillery's done really, done really well. I just got a glimpse of a unit that wanted to rout. Lots of cavalry charging in, not a problem. Form in, form some defensive squares. Skirmishers take the high ground, provide some fire support. Heavy cavalry push on the right in particular. So let's bring my guys in to help. Keep on advancing. Make sure our howitzers are engaging the militia that's looking to try and take advantage of, being, of us being um, occupied, or not occupied, but being Chiefly being the most vulnerable now. Let's pick up our infantry line, get out of square, form line. Cavalry withdraw behind the line. Skirmishes are on the right to provide fire support. Garcia, help the militia. This gun team's not going to be a huge amount of help. Keep our howitzers focusing on the right flank. The left flank has stabilised. Let's form new positions against the high ground. Excellent. Okay, let's my cavalry back around on the flank again. Enemy reinforcements are coming in from the left. Quick line will do a lot of help here. Excellent. Get my artillery to provide more direct support on top of the hill. Enemy cavalry has come back, so we're going to get 
charged in the rear. Let them commit and drop into square. General's bodyguard here. Attacking. You men are still able to engage the militia. It actually let's retarget how oh, it's a fire. Artillery unit station is staying stationary for now. Okay, these units are gonna withdraw. The air units doing as much damage as they can, but there's lots of cavalry on the flank to be aware of. Okay, let's start to pivot these units across. Well, not pivot, just move them across. The yeomanry. It's taking up a lot of the... Well, my cuirassier are taking up a lot of the enemy strength. Let's try to go for the general's bodyguard on the hill. Yeah, they finally broke. Okay, withdraw. Need to be intelligent on how we do this. Committing to their attack. Okay, let's redirect our quick climb onto the enemy. Don't you see fire? We got the enemy general. Keep holding the squares. Let's commit my field marshal in. Regiment of force across to try attack the other general's bodyguard. My cuirassier have returned, so let's bring them into the action. Excellent. Quick climb. Attack the militia units that are coming in. Skirmishers and push up. Gracier, push up. Excellent. Let's reform our line. The bias towards trying to secure the high ground. Guns units is unlimbered. Skirmishers get up into the trees. Excellent. Bring the cavalry back. So you guys limber up just to probably drag your gun up to the top of the hill. Foot artillery support the engagements against the militia on the flank. Format. We want to try, try, which we can, which we can, push them off the hill entirely.
maintain the pressure. Where's my field marshal? Advance. So switch to round shots. All the foot artillery has to try get back up to the hill. As we push the enemy back, we can advance our line. Provide a bit more support to our long riflemen. Can't really engage these militia. Keep engaging just to make sure that they shatter, although I expect they will not come back. They're so close to the edge of the map anyway. Got some militia pushing the edge of the map. There goes the fifth. The long riflemen are kind of wasting their shots. They need to be more up on the hill. You men smash the militia here. They've been smashed. We need to provide some close support. Push up the top of the hill, get rid of light infantry formation for the skirmishers so we can condense them into a smaller area. You're going to commit into the action. Where's my field marshal? Get him over here. Yeah, just try to try and keep them tied up while we break the third regiment. You want to engage that militia unit before you break. Charge! Although you're going to hit my men. All of you charge on into the 13th. last of their militia. Excellent. Slaughter as much as you can at the first. We are going to continue. Everybody except my cavalry cease this engagement. Just kill as many as you can, bearing in mind that there is a limit to how many you can kill because they're so close to the edge of the map. We're not going to be able to get those militia. Nee, we did okay. It was a really, really bloody action. However, I think it was a decisive one. Still a four to one ratio in our favour, and they the they only slightly outnumber us now, rather than nearly <laughs> well not tripling us exactly, but you know, two and a half times our number. If we require additional support, we can deal with it, but I don't think we will. Austria is responding to our our uh, um, economic blockade. That's not a not a bad offer at all, because that's the region in the northeast. But no, I fought over fought over it for far too long to just give it up in in a diplomatic um, trade like that. 
for far too long indeed. I think we might be on for trying to knock out the Knights of St. John and secure Malta as a naval base. They don't really need it because we've got lots of ports on the North African coast. I think our, you know, our first priority is still to ma maintain the blockade of Austria and attack Britain, but not destroy the faction in its entirety. So the Ottomans... I mean, ultimately, I'm surprised the Ottomans haven't declared war on us, because normally when you get sufficiently big, which we have as the United States, every faction that you have a border with just declares war on you because they hate you because you're a you got far too dangerous and you're the human player but this time they haven't done that which is interesting and if they do it will be their downfall hmm. now it's russia that was going to slow things down Don't worry, Russia. Once we knock out your precious Austria, then you'll really be in trouble. And actually, Spain's quite vulnerable now. Well, it will be certainly be more vulnerable when we take Britain, but it's quite vulnerable now in that they don't have many regions. So, hmm, Protestant missionary in Tunis. Send you to Tripoli, I think. So Spain only has Madrid, so if we wanted to go after Spain, that's the way to do it. Capitulate their empire, so these regions all become pirate regions, and then we just jump on them. Take advance. Seed planting drill. Excellent. Cracking on with steam pump land drainage. That's absolutely fine. Construction reports. Government buildings. Okay, let's keep on investing. Ari is going to be improved. The army needs to be replenished. Oh, all the stuff on Cagliari. Or Sardinia that we've already done. Sert uh, is now a global trading company, so that's really good. Let's upgrade Gibraltar's roads. Okay, so fleet arrives. Here is the invasion force. So, first of all, Ernest Southerns, replenish your troops, put Reykjavik under siege, you don't need to attack it. So, Faithful Fleming. Let's go after Dublin. It's not, there's no... I mean, we are going to fight it, but I'm, what I want to try is can I yes I can just assault Edinburgh as well because there's no one in the port it's a bit of a risk oh it's really risky really but let's find out <laughs> no real garrison you because there's probably a navy lurking near London you can just do that apparently suspicious suspicious really There we go. So I have to risk my invasion fleet if I want to attack London. Aye, sir. No. I will not risk my invasion fleet. Understood. My invasion for my my fleet and my invasion force. I'm not going to risk it. No. Let's go for Liverpool. Excellent. So let's check all these fleet arrives ah. ah yes you're here to deal with the Austrians second rate and friends okay right first of all let's do the attack on Dublin secure Ireland 
then we will attack Edinburgh, then we can consolidate uh, Ireland to bring that army up, and then we can go out all out against London. They do have a force in Bristol, which I'm hoping will either march to try and intercept us or will fall back to the capital to try and defend it. Um, either way, it will be their doom. Then they'll only be left with the territory of Stockholm keeping their faction alive. I mean, this is down the line when we take London and Iceland. But I think we will absolutely have broken the back of British power. Securing this the town, are we? Plenty of indirect fire. That's a delicious outcrop for our 24 pounders. So as is typical, I'm going to go more towards the open ground. But I've got a lot of grenadiers and elite infantry to push through this part of the uh, urban center. Let's keep my provincial scouts out wide. Thank you that. Same with all of my cavalry. Keep them out wide. Okay, so I want... So you're going to have to go here. my elites they don't actually have to go into the town they can go here and get ready to advance down this way so they can't get over this ridge skirmishes move up just and i'm just letting my artillery do whatever they fancy it's away Royal irish regiment the fire The only thing my howitzers can actually engage is the Royal Irish Regiment. Same with my rockets, they've not got massive range. Foot artillery though, start attacking this concentrated mass of British troops. hits. Bring up the general's bodyguard. You form up like so. You start to engage the general's bodyguard. Or they want to charge us. Seventy-six. Oh, they're in, they're going to get shot to pieces. You fool! executed by his own troops for cowardice. Okay. Their artillery... Their artillery is my artillery. They have mortars. Light cavalry. Push it. Cavalry Regiment of Horse push in to try and occupy the 11th Regiment of Militia. Come 
more rockets. <laughs> yeah. Bit of very devastating cavalry charge against the militia. Yep, yeah, that's them broken. That's them shattered. Okay, let's make merry with the rest of these routed troops. All of my artillery switch to quick line, engage the Swiss line that are running through the town. Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Some very capable skirmish units right there. Okay, let's advance my elite down the hill. Just get my marines. Just get them slightly pushed down the hill. Yeah, the Swiss line did not like the quick climbing they got. Rockets engage the 19th. Guard and Grenadiers wait as a reserve. Foot artillery engage the 19th. Yep, Swiss Mountain Jaegers are very upset as of the 17th. Oh, we're going to start getting hit by rocket fire. Quick climb of just is just obliterated the Royal Irish Regiment. Seventy sixth are advancing. More foot artillery engaged the oh no, they're shattered anyway. Excellent. Dublin is ours. And the first thing we're going to do is destroy that military governor's barracks. We do not need military administration here, no sir. Waiting for your order. March. We can move Forward. out quickly. March. Yeah, the steam dry dock. You're the, only, you're the main army they've got ready to respond to us, if you want to try. Actually, first of all, let's get rid of all these. We've done this. Don't worry about you yet. Actually, because you are not in Brest, let's do a cheeky bit of raiding. <laughs> Just to make sure, make sure if they are building any ships. Which, I mean, they can't build because it's very damaged. That just shows they can, they've can they got four slots. Not that they are actually building in them, I would guess. Because they get destroyed. Sir. Okay, Riley grinds. Let's attack the small garrison here at Edinburgh. Then we can... Then I can push and take out those Austrian ships that are overseas. Take them out. And then we can... We can uh, send a trade fleet out to, to occupy the spot, send a new battle fleet out to, take, uh, to uh, cover the position. Excellent. All right. Then put you over here. Smash them to the pulp, to a pulp. I'm gonna hold. I'm not gonna, not going to uh, give them any opportunity. We are going to push everything we got at them, even though they aren't that many. 
We're going to use quick climb right from the off. Get my cavalry set up. Get them all set up. Knock a hole through. How it's just try Just put a volley in against these dragoons in the centre. Although the very first shots were against the um <laughs> the very first shots were against the mortars. Actually they better stay against the mortars because they are actually within range. I think our rockets are probably gonna shoot at them as well. Rockets away. So one mortar round landed plum on one of our guns. They're any the enemy is relocating. Not one crewman back. He he he's all right, folks. Okay, that part of the that part of the wall is engaging us. Quick climb away. I guess thinned them out some. Well, I'm fairly sure the best mode is short. Then another option is to take the unit of infantry, push them up on the left, split the fire. Well, they have to work out who they're going to shoot at. Is it going to be the? Is it going to be against my artillery, or is it going to be against my infantry? We still have ample crew. Artillery. We have one bugged gun. Push. We're not far off at all from the walls being breached. Quick climb coming in. Killed another. Okay, they're only down to one gun firing, which is more than enough. Two bugged howitzers. No, I don't think I, I can't blitz right in. Continental Marines secure the gate, put infantry. Push up here, long riflemen get up on this edge of the wall to fire into the city. Two new men scale there. Set up a defensive barrier. Get the legion up on the wall. Howitzers just start to quick line the center. Good hit. There's only two two garrison units left. Put some cuirassier by the gate. The light infantry is seeking to push. Foot artillery just bombard the gate, the, the breach. Just a 
protect ground right here. And you don't want to do that. Interesting. Not even a little bit of attack ground. A couple of units. Here we go. Attack the dragoons. There's a handful of them left. Oh, it's a lot of provincial infantry that fell to that. Quick climb attack. I want my line infantry here. So my long riflemen, when they get up, they can just pour fire into the centre. Excellent. The gatehouse is ours. These men have fallen back. Cover the centre. Then you will die. Keep on killing them. I think once you men have completed or have successfully um, gathered at the top, you'll just start pouring fire onto these militiamen. Standing up. Engage. A couple of guys running around. They're slowing it all up. There we go. Exceptional damage. Okay, my cavalry get in. Just run into the centre and see if they try to stop us. Ooh, actually you men are getting... Oh yeah, you guys... Okay, stop what it is you're doing. There's a garrison guards. There we go, Continental Marines get in. Howitzers cease fire. Line infantry get involved. Should I you know, keep keep a cavalry unit on in the centre? I see, I'm trying to charge my long riflemen, but that's not how combat works. We've killed their general. Yeah, my my uh, legion understandably did not like engaging the garrison guards, especially when we fired quick climb at them. Keep attacking. Okay. You men, push in. Right, stay in the centre. Could probably just keep my regiment of horse in the centre, really. Here we come. Engineers are bugging out. Okay, yeah, regiment of horse, secure the centre, cuirassier, get back involved, kill this single four gunner.
The resilient gunner. There we go, now we got him. You know, hit the blunder by shotgunners. Come on, Cressy, yeah, they're only light infantry. You won't like that at all. Ceasefire. I mean, right now you're probably doing a lot more harm than you are good. Barring into these combat. Still, the city is taken. Nice. So that is Edinburgh. Excellent. Okay, repair. I sense a university. Yeah, there it is. Because they're just really unhappy with me right off the bat. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Replenish. Okay, can't do anything with you. Let's hop down to the Straits of Madagascar. Let's go attack this Austrian fleet. They have a rocket ship on board. Or as part of the fleet. So they can be a bit dangerous. So, heavy, heavy, heavy. There we go. Bit of auto resolve, but I didn't want to risk losing a bunch of my fleet. I mean, there's no guarantees I could still lose them because it's it's me fighting a navy battle. Yeah. They got that second rate. The rocket ship might also be a good grab because they can be quite dangerous. But yeah, it's all part of our campaign of engaging the engaging the Austrians wherever possible so they have no fleets able to interfere with my grand designs on the high seas. Atlantis Arcona. It might actually take a few of these ships at the back. Send them on a trip more like towards here where they can go a bit faster and they can try and shut down that rocket ship a bit sooner. They'll go to make better speed on their own. Kind of the fourth ratio of the line that's... Yeah, they're at full strength, but... Yep, yeah, they're in trouble. Rolling towards side. Captain's up top. Probably go for chain shot with the next broadside if you can, Congress. Really, I want you to engage your sail and swing this direction. I'll speed things up a little bit. But for you, it might have to be round shot. You know, your broadsides are... Your guns, gunners are reloading. There we go. Oh! <laughs> ah. Nice. Good job, Captain. to round shots. Now uh, you're progressing at a very slow speed. Nice and vulnerable. You start to do something like that. 
but Cumberland is going to engage Atlantis, which is taking a couple of shots, but has otherwise suffered no damage. So you're going to pivot and engage Atlantis. And your wearer, you were previously an Austrian ship, I'm pretty sure. You're getting some hits into Congress, but that's not a problem. Switch the chain. Start to upset Atlantis a little bit. There you go, they can start engaging Durin. Yep, Arcona's upset, about to be about to surrender. Nope, surrendered. Have a taste of chain shot in the higher times. There we go, now the rockets are inbound. Who gets set on fire? Nobody does. Nice. You can start putting some shots into Durin. Starting to turn into our line, which is pretty nice. Durin's lost a couple of guns, taking a few casualties. Oh, they fell down the lover's hole. That's well, not the lover's hole, but they fell down through the gap. I think the lover's hole is something to do with on the side. We're climbing up. No, it's in the... Well, the masts are gone. It's... I think something like a hatch in here. If, you, if you're a decent sailor, you can climb up and kind of hang over the edge and scramble up. You're a madman. But there were like a little separate little hatch that people could kind of climb up through. Or maybe it might be like right at the tippy top. Because could you imagine trying to climb up there? That's hella dangerous. Although you, there's a lot of guys up here. Uh -oh, Congress is on fire. Fire it will off. Put that out. Still notionally on fire. You know you're not on fire. More rockets away. more fires Africa Admiral's flagship is aflame oh no they put it out Amphion's on fire no, they put it out very good Atlantis, hit hit, Ice Vogel dodging the fire like a champ. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, we're going off to Congress again. Maybe she's still in good shape. Congress is still engaging Durin. 
who is the, who is going to be is being held at risk by these other second rates that are advancing. That's everyone against Ice Vogo. Suppose not. <laughs> yeah, they're routing. So now it's everyone against the second ray. Circle them like sharks. This ship's trying to route towards our line, which is really nice of them. Ocean, Gepard, and Brimson. The oceans got the shots in. The ocean's literally going too fast. Maybe Gepard has to pull in. The rocket ship is sinking. Overboard. Oh, that guy jumped from the top. Nice. Well, you might sink as well, actually. You're in pretty, pretty dire straits. There's the Admiral. No way. Oh, it's going to have to be the ground shot. Top again. Surrendered. Struck a, struck your colours. Excellent. Too bad about the rocket ship, but <laughs> it's only slightly damaged. <laughs> One previous user. Excellent. Um, yeah, just a second. Ships, orders received. You men hold. You men sail. Back to the Americas. We're not worried about the Marathas just yet. They can carry on doing what they're doing. Ship shape and Bristol fashion. Okay, you are at full strength. You go to East Africa. Aye, sir. As will you, good sir. Make ready. Your infantry is being recruited. Yes. Onward. You're humble. You're going down towards Nathaniel Green. And the Pueblo nations, who are they allied with? Victor of Portugal. Well, I think it's safe to say that it's probably time start fighting Portugal. Orders, Where to, Captain? Because ultimately we can immediately put them at risk. Okay, let's do that. Sir. Declare war. Don't call any of our allies in because we don't need to. Lost trade with Portugal. Uh, maintain Chief siege for now. Um, I want to have a look at my ministers. Plus one management. Minus one management. So you're pretty rubbish. Plus one management. Plus one management. Minus. So you're just a four star. Four star. Nothing stands out. Don't put him in the treasury. Plus one management. Plus one army. So you're five star for the army. You're better for the Navy. You're better for the Army. You're only good for the Army. My Europe Minister, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management. You're going to be my Justice Minister. Okay, let's boot my Treasury Minister. Treasury Secretary, rather. 
Quint in law is brought in, so at least we're getting some positives. Let's send my. I mean, to be honest, it's probably no. Send my spy back towards New Orleans. Path blocked by Leslie Hook. No, it is not. Yep, Ireland's been taken. Edinburgh's been taken. We've destroyed that fleet. And an Austrian fleet. I think all we need to do is make sure that we are... No, you were going to join that fleet, but they are full anyway. You got a lot of heavy firsts, Ross Butler. You're going to be a very heavy fleet. Up here in Louisbourg. Yeah, getting some more firsts. Excellent. Sir. Okay, you're all going to stay up here in Newfoundland. Just for the time being, just because the AI seems quite interested in this area. Other than that, they have a fleet at Porto. Let's send this army Make ready. Under orders. and uh, Roger Leverett. Make ready. Embark Move. them. Mark. Sir. Way anchor. And they can land Make off the coast of Lisbon. Any orders, sir? This army make the crossing to Gibraltar. Let's fortify Gibraltar. It's an ally with Spain, but ally alliances can be temporary. Recruit some troops to reinforce. Ah, oh, yes, field marshals of Europe. I can recruit those now. Excellent. Right. I think all I want to do is hit and turn and see what happens. I think. Let's hit and turn and see what happens. Harvesting supplies. Ships ordered. Excellent. More ships being recruited. Spain and we're withdrawing. Oh, they've brought up a second army. Another army. Interesting. They've recruited one from the colonies. Britain is raiding our possessions, but they've not tried to protect Iceland. They have not attempted to try and protect London. Ultimately, if I can take Iceland and London, I'd be tempted just to make peace with Britain and say... You know what? We have completed our mission here. We do not wish further war. Then we can focus entirely on the Austrians. There go the Ottomans sending troops eastward. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to need to maintain my dominance in the Mediterranean because once the Ottomans, once we start fighting them, we're going to end up needing to send a lot of a lot of ships to a lot of ports to make sure that none of those small armies get uh, get transported to our regions. No peace, Pueblo nations. We will end you. Interestingly, they must have recruited an agent in Finland. Or well, they sent one well, they sent one over towards Sweden to start stealing text. Okay, let's just go up here. Undaunted. Kill you. Undefeated. Yeah, you didn't Scotland, Scotland isn't gonna attack. complain. Upgrade the port, build a sloop. Yes. You cross over as well. March. See, 
island has no government. And they've kind of gone, uh, are we sure? Are we sure this is what we want to do? They've gone, yes, it is. Let's recruit a unit of militia. Cool. Okay. Wait, I'm sure it was telling me I could recruit a field marshal of Europe. Interesting. Ready for orders. Humans start to push. Could just go past you. Go, go after London. Go after London. Take Iceland, and then go for peace. I think that's probably going to be the way to good or going to be the way to do it. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the British capital. Cheers, everyone.